Hey guys, it's Milka. Welcome back to my channel, Nateom. Today we're going to be reviewing another indie deck. This is going to be an Oracle deck. It's so beautiful, you guys. It is out of order because I have used the cards, but I don't think the order really matters so much as in a tarot deck, so there are no numbers, so it's okay. As you can see, the box is beautiful. I love the the texture. There is a little bit of a texture on it. It's a very sturdy box, very solid. It almost feels like it is made of wood. It's not, but it feels as though it's like canvas paper on top of wood a little bit. You have gold, um, gold letters here, so you can see. It's the Mari Mali Flower Oracle Cards. This is the first edition. They call it the first season, which I think is cute because different flowers bloom in different seasons. These are the sides of the box as well. <clears throat> also very, very gorgeous. We also have the back here with a little bit of info. You have a little bit of a seal here. Um, the people who created this deck also created Stray Cats Tarot, which I do actually have one of their tarot cards, at one of the editions of their tarot deck. So yes, let's get into the cards now. This box is just so beautiful. I can't get over it. And you can actually see the sides here are different from the sides once you open it. So you've got a little bit more of an image here, here, and here. It's just, it's so beautiful. I feel like it's very much my aesthetic um, in regards to like what I, what I like. So I'm gonna pull the cards out. This is the box again before we dive into the cards. You can see it's like super sturdy. It's, a, it's thick too. So this is a really nice box. At the back of the box, we do get a little book as well. A little manual, if you will, uh, with all of the flowers. Um, and it's not in color or anything. I will say, so they also have everything in Thai because this is a Thai indie deck. So they have it in English and in Thai. The book, I will say, doesn't really give descriptions of the cards. The writing that you have here, you're going to see is actually going to be on the cards as well. Um, then they have a couple of examples of reading styles. They have it in Thai, but I believe they have it in English. Yep, they have it in English as well in the back. So that's the book that it comes with. It also comes with a certificate, which is uh, signed, actually signed by the um, the artist as well, or the creator of the deck. So you have the certificate, there's a little sticker. There's a sticker for the company for the Stray Cat Tarot. And this feels like it is, it looks like it's signed in Sharpie. So the creator of the deck actually signed the certificate, which I think is really cool. The certificate itself is also really beautiful, even the back here too. And it also has gilded edging. So this deck has this beautiful green, yellow, gold uh, in regards to like the edging. It's very beautiful. It makes me think of the gates of Versailles. Okay, let's get into the cards. Again, these are out of order. Uh, so we've got geranium and it says protect and support yellow dahlia with joy and childish happiness. Blue River Rose with Heart and Sympathize. Canna with Glory and Power. Pink Gerbera with Respect and Admiration. Clitoria Ternatia with Crave and Lust. Chamomile with relax and rest. Robin Rose, excitement and enthusiasm.
Gentiana with Winner and Victory. Lily of the Nile with Strength and Power. Rudebeckia with Encouragement, Justice, and Truth. I will let, and I love the colors with this one. I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time there are some flowers in here that I do not know how to pronounce. That was my warning. <laughs> Spirit of Freedom Rose, Freedom and Renewal. Teddy Bear Sunflower with Rising and Brilliant. Plum, Resilience and Perseverance, also beautiful. Mariah Panaclata. Anaculata, humble and modest. Thunbergias, Thunbergias, Thunbergias with breakthrough, extension, and growth. Sakura with optimism, renewal, and refreshment. Carnation, beating hearts, affection, and excitement. Dahlia, pink, with kindness and feminine. Peach, with purity and femininity. Oh, you, yes, the peach and cherry blossoms are very beautiful. And we have Daisy with Childlike and Innocent. Okay, this is one of those that I might not be able to pronounce. <laughs> Campsis Radicans with Wait and Return. Bladderwort with Oh, what does that say? Rakwish and Crafty? Not sure what Rakwish is, but okay. Uh, Clanner Flora Rose with Passion and Sacrifice. Hibiscus White, Hospitality, Sincerity, and Volunteering. Bearded Iris with pride and royalty. Lily of the Valley, youth and sweetness. Yellow Gerbera, friendship and candal candiality. Cardial cardiality, <laughs> sorry. I was like candiality it is written in script which which th there's nothing wrong with that but i think because it's so light the light is kind of making it hard to see and we have helio can heli uh heli cania young bright and fresh jasmine maternity and pure love hibiscus Red-orange with playful and funny. Panacacia with luxurious, rich, and fruitful. Sulfur Cosmos with harmonious and orderly. Also beautiful. Uh, also beautiful was what I was saying, not what the card was saying. Siam Tulip, new generation and new growth hibiscus yellow fortune and good luck scabiosa or scabiosa uh, lonely and recluse 
flamingo flowers, conservative and arrogant. Tulip, pink, care and wish well. Sunflower, hope, warmth and happiness. Lantana, rigorous, exacting and exhausting, exhaustive, sorry. <laughs> Iris Germanica, faith and belief. This is another one where I'm at a loss for pronunciation, so uh, please be gentle with me. Chrysan uh, Themamus? Themamus? Oh, chrysanthemums. Oh my goodness. I was like, what on? It's, it's split up in two. Wow. Okay, friendship and well-being. Chrysanthemums. <laughs> Uh, white ginger, lonely and do doubtful. Tulip, orange, understanding and sentiment. Catharnathus, uh, roseus, new beginning and day spring. Masara Rose, sufficient and patient. Brunfelgia uniflora, Brunfelgia uniflora. Um, felicit, felicit, oh guys, this is, this one, this one is, Hard to see and hard to pronounce. One second. Felicitatiously and calmly. Hydrangea with gratitude and grace. Yellow tulip with bright smiles, happy and cheerful. And lastly, Gustavia Gra Gracilima, Gracilima, Gustavia Gracilima, intelligence and inner peace. Oh my. Okay. Sorry for the, the roughness of the reading there. <laughs> um, some of the names I'm unfamiliar with, like the chrysanthemum thing, though, I will say was a little embarrassing. I was like, what is this chrysanthemums? <sighs> oh, but yes, it is a little hard. I will say I love the aesthetic of this, which I think maybe that's why the book can be helpful in that regard. Um, just because with the book or the manual, you can clearly see the names of the flowers and um, the keywords. So if you're having a hard time reading the script or if some of them, like the ones that are in the lighter yellow, oh, perfect. Like this is really hard to read because it's thinner and it's in that light yellow. So you can just look it up in the book and um, get it in a more clear uh, print. So yeah, that was that was the beautiful Mari Mali deck. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. What did you think of the deck? Um, <laughs> sorry again about the pronunciation. Uh, but yes, this is a beautiful indie deck and um, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up to let me know that you would like to get more of these little uh, card walkthroughs for the unique decks that I've got, um, or any decks that you may be interested in. If I have them, I can I can do a review or a walkthrough for you guys as well. Uh, and yeah, I would appreciate if you guys subscribe to this channel because I do have some more deck reviews coming, at least the ones that um, I think would be interesting as well as pick a card readings and a bunch of other stuff that I've got planned for this channel. But for now, I shall say goodbye, I'm sending you guys lots of love, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys.